We have Borderlands news, boys and girls. That's right. We're talking about the Borderlands movie. Now, the Borderlands movie, for those who don't know, is a fucking mess. I've already made a video on the Borderlands movie, and I don't know what the hell is going on. I don't know. This this movie is weird. It's got fucking Krieg. It's got Roland. It's got all the main cast, and then it's like throwing in these weird characters that are like not a part of the uh, original cast like Krieg and Tiny Tina for example and how I imagined a Borderlands movie would go is that it would just retell the first the first game right it would be about the first four vault hunters Brick, Mordecai, Lilith and Roland going and finding the vault opening it killing the fucking destroyer and then Hyperion and Handsome Jack coming in and taking all the credit for it, which would then lead into Borderlands 2 and a Borderlands 2 movie. But then they go and they have those like Krieg in it and they have Tiny Tina. And you're like, what the fuck's going on here? Why are they here? They weren't a part of the main cast. And I theorized that what it would probably take place between Borderlands 1 and 2. But, I don't know. Anyways, going back to this article, this Borderlands movie, whatever the fuck it's going to be about, well, it was crawled in for reshoots. And the Deadpool director, the guy who made the, the two Deadpool movies, he is now taking over. Filming of the Borderlands movie began early in early 2021, with Hungary standing in for the junkyard waste world of Pandora. Test screenings were held in November of 2022, and apparently the response inspired some changes to be made as Deadline reports as going back for reshoot with a different director in charge. So, what does this mean? Well, it simply means that the director that they had for the Borderlands movie, which I don't, I don't know who that is. I actually don't know. Borderlands Movie Director. Oh, wait. It says right here. Eli Roth, which did Cabin Fever and Hostel. He handled primary shootings. Tim Miller, de the director of Deadpool, has taken over for the reshoots, which will take two weeks. So basically... Oh. <laughs> so, what, so what they are doing... Is they're doing what basically happened with, with the Justice League movie. You remember that? You remember that fucking mess? Uh, Zack Snyder made the Justice League. And then he left. And then Joss Whedon, who made the Avengers, came in to finish uh, Justice League. And it became this weird mess. It was a weird thematic uh, story mess. It was like fucking awful and everybody hated it. That reminds me of this. Are, bro, I'm going to be honest. Hearing this, I do not have high hopes for the Borderlands movie. I know. Maybe I'm just being an asshole. Maybe I'm being biased. Maybe I'm just, you know, being a negative Nancy. Whatever. But still. But still. Did... It's not good anytime a movie goes in for reshoots and it's under reshoots with a new director. Oh, that's bad. Because that means that they did not like fucking Eli Roth and what he was doing. <laughs> that and I'm 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 gonna be honest, it's probably the fact that Borderlands is a very comedic game series. It has a lot of quirky, dumb one liners. It has a lot of like I, I hate to use the term, but it has a lot of Marvel dialogue. It's always had that for a long-ass time. It has a lot of weird, dumb jokes thrown in the mix. It's, it's very fucking clever most of the time. But this tells me that Eli Roth did not probably get that, which is why they're bringing in Tim Miller, the Deadpool director. Deadpool's a very fucking funny movie. It's a very non-serious, violent comedy. Which is basically what Borderlands is. It's a non-serious, violent comedy almost. Especially in the later entries. Which probably then means that he didn't get that concept. So Tim Miller's got to come in and make it funny. And make it feel like Borderlands. 
I don't know if he's going to be able to do that, especially because you're sitting here looking at two different visions for one movie, which is bad. Because if they're bringing this guy in specifically to make the movie funnier, that means that they're going to shit on Eli Roth's vision for the Borderlands movie, which is then going to cause a whole bunch of problems because they are going to have tonal issues just like the Justice League. Or, better yet, the uh, sequel trilogy for Star Wars, which was done by two different directors, and it's all over the fucking place. And a lot of people, especially if you're, you know, if you have a brain, fucking hate those movies. Which, I don't like them either, but... Yeah, I don't know. This is kind of all that we that we really have is the fact that there was a director change. I thought I'd bring it up, since I haven't really talked about Borderlands yet on the podcast. And that's kind of... Well, it's a... It's supposed, we're supposed to talk about Borderlands here. There, there just hasn't been a lot of news for Borderlands. 